What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an optic for your AR-15, your shotgun, your pistol, uh, pretty much anything you want to put this on. Uh, so today we're looking at the Vortex Optics Spark 2 Red Dot sight. Um, it is a 2 MOA Red Dot kind of in the same fashion as your your military aim points that at least we had on our m16s when i was down in georgia so definitely a cool option for your ar-15 so let's look at this and see what we got um so the spark 2 i have it mounted up here it's it's hard mounted so it it, it sucks taking it off but what you get is an optic that is 3.1 inches long two and a half wide two and a half high and it comes with three different bases so this is the tall base for your lower one third now it has a shim uh, shim plate in it as well for your absolute co-witness and then they also have a lower mount uh, for you no that is the two mounts sorry and then you can actually take this off and they have a low plate uh, and you can use that to mount this to a shotgun or a pistol. I honestly wouldn't want something that big on my pistol unless I'm using a revolver to go hunting, but to each their own. I know some of those competition 22 pistols out there get a little crazy. So, um, so you get the three mount or the three plates, you get a set of dust covers that come with the spark your lens is a 22 millimeter and your weight's going to be about half a pound so a little heavy but it's really not that bad you have your elevation and windage adjustments under these screws and your battery if you guys can see if I can get the camera to focus there. Everything's hooked on with these little steel cables. They can be annoying, but a lifesaver at the same time. When I was sighting this in for the first time on the range, I dropped one of my caps. And obviously with the steel cables on it, it didn't go nowhere. <laughs> but when you're trying to take the caps off, you kind of have to make sure that the cable slides when you're trying to because if you can see here this one's pulling tight as I'm trying to get the battery compartment open so you have to kind of slide it back around until it breaks loose enough that it won't catch so let me just uh, pop the battery cover off here we'll take a look at what battery this takes Of course, this one doesn't want to slide at all, so I'm going to have to fidget with it. Uh, as for the red dot itself, while I'm getting this opened up here, so your adjustments for your windage and elevation are going to be one MOA. So you're looking pretty accurate for adjustments. So there you go, battery compartment's open. So we are running a CR2032. And it does come with two of these. Um, when you purchase the optic, you get two of these batteries. So you get this one and a spare, which is nice. Uh, battery life on it's good though. Uh, obviously I haven't left mine on for days on end, but it also has a auto shut off after 12 hours. So if you let this on by accident, the optic will power itself down after about 12 hours. That tighten back down there all right um, so it gives you a multi-coated lens so as you can see if you're looking at the lens this way you kind of have that red red coloration that's a multi-coat to keep the lens clear it's also parallax free so what that means is wherever you're aiming down the site wherever that dot is is where your round's going to impact. That's that nice part about parallax free. 
um, EOTech. Their hollow sites, their some of the red dot sites, they're known for being parallax free, so that's nice as well. Uh, unlimited eye relief. Construction is aircraft grade aluminum, O-ring sealed and nitrogen purged. So there's no air or water, no oxygen or water inside. It also gives you a fog proof or fo fog proofing inside. You're not going to have uh, moisture build up or fog build up inside the, the site. Obviously, you can still get a little bit on the outside, but the lenses are coated to help prevent that. Uh, rear facing power controls. So if you look on the rear here, these two buttons here are your controls. You have a power, which will, let's see if I can get the thought to come up in the camera here. Might need to turn it up. There she is. So this is the power button and then you're up and down. There's going down and then here's your adjustment going up it has 10 adjustments and then to power it off you just make sure it's turned on press and hold the top and it will power off uh, obviously the dots not that big when you're looking through it the camera just picks up all of the light so it looks a lot bigger um, it is a very small dot on lower settings as you get up to the higher settings however it does get Kind of like a fuzz ball and this is like a red fuzz in the center of your sight might be annoying if you're shooting long range definitely try to keep it as low as possible to to get rid of that distortion but that is pretty much it uh the vortex site this it's the spark 2 and i'll just take this cap off here so you guys can see so here's your elevation adjustment yeah it dictates or it shows you which way is up so obviously opposite is down and then on the cap so this is a flat head and then on the cap itself if you can see there it's kind of hard because it's attached to the cable let me see if I can bring it out around here there's a flat kind of protrusion on there it fits right in so you can adjust it uh, you have 90 MOA both way on both uh, both dials so from your absolute up or absolute down left or right you have 90 clicks or 90 MOA that you can adjust this thing was super easy to sight in um, it came I mounted it to the rifle took it out uh, put two shots down range I was like inch and a half low and off to the right a little bit all i did was open these up i didn't even count i just twisted them i think the second time i shot two rounds i was half an inch low made the correction i was dead center left and right but i was like half an inch low yet again a couple turns she went right on now there is one thing i will add um, with this setup if you want to run a magnifier go with the vortex magnifier I tried to cheap out, got a UTG magnifier, flip up magnifier. That's why it's sitting so far forward. Now I do also run a shell catcher, which we'll go over in another video. Um, but I wanted to run a magnifier on with it. The UTG, the mount for it just does not match up at all. I tried putting shims under it. it I just couldn't get it to line up. The mount itself is just too high for the spark. And if you try to shim this anymore, it just wasn't fitting. So definitely go with the Vortex full-size magnifier. It's, you're not supposed to use the micro with this one, but I'm sure you could. Uh, Price-wise, the site right now is $243.55. That is from Optics. Nope, that's on Amazon. So I'll have a link to that in the description below. $243.55 for the Vortex Spark. Two. Um, I got mine on GovX, so if you have access to GovX, I think I paid like 140 for mine. It was like a huge discount they were doing, so you can find them on sale. 
that's just where they're at right now. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. Uh, definitely hit the like button if you like the content you're getting from the video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what optics you're running, what works best for you, what setup or what combination are you running. You know, obviously I'd like to put a Neotech up here with a magnifier, but I just don't have $1,500 to blow on what was going to be a cheap rifle. Um, hit the subscribe button and definitely hit the bell icon so you're notified anytime we drop any new videos. This week, we're looking at AR-15 parts, possibly in the next week, depending on how the videos run out. Check back tomorrow, we'll have another one posted. That's all I got for you guys. Later.